In this video, we show you the difference between time-lapse movie mode and interval timer shooting on your Z5 camera. So you've bought yourself a tripod and you're ready to start making time lapses with your Z5, but you might be confused as to which option to use, time-lapse movie or interval timer shooting. In short, the time-lapse movie option is used when you want the camera to automatically combine a number of still images together into a finished movie file that's ready to be shared. This can be anywhere from full HD to 4K resolution. Interval timer is usually selected when you want the most control and if you want to shoot multiple still images consecutively, all the while keeping those full resolution images. Let's start with creating time-lapse movies. First, it's up to you to consider how to expose for the time-lapse. Ask yourself, is the light changing? And if so, do you want the camera to adapt to that change? Consider setting the camera to programmed auto, aperture priority mode, or full manual mode if auto ISO is selected. The first option in the time-lapse movie menu is interval. This is how frequently the camera takes a picture. Generally, the faster the movement in your time-lapse, the shorter of an interval you want. This time-lapse, with fast movement, was taken with a 1 second long interval. Here, you have slower movement and a 15 second long interval was selected. You can experiment with this, but 5 seconds is usually a good place to start. Next, set your shooting time. Basically, this is the real-time duration that your camera will record for. You can set the camera to record for a maximum of just under 8 hours of real-time shooting. The beauty of the Z5 is that it has a built-in calculator and based on your intervals, your real-time shooting duration, and the final output of your movie in frames per second, the Z5 calculates exactly how long the end result movie will be. I suggest leaving both exposure smoothing and sound photography on. The great thing about sound photography is that you won't hear the shutter firing and it allows your camera to consume less power. Now, if you want a tighter crop of your scene, you can also set your time lapse to shoot in DX mode. For even additional crop and added resolution, choose 4K and the camera automatically shoots at an even tighter 1.7 times crop factor. 4K resolution also means you can pan and zoom on your time-lapse afterwards without a large loss of quality. Finally, it's a good idea to pre-focus and turn vibration reduction off. This will keep your battery consumption to a minimum and will ensure your framing and composition doesn't move from the VR. You'll also want to make sure that you have the right picture control and white balance set since ideally the finished movie that's created by the camera will be fully ready to share and won't need editing. Once you're ready, take a deep breath and press start. If you decide to stop the time lapse before it's fully complete, the camera will still give you the video that's been recorded up until that point. Immediately after the shooting timer is complete, you can review your movie right in camera. Now, what about interval timer shooting? When should you actually use this? Well, here's one non-time lapse scenario. Have you ever seen star trail shots? Well, you can accomplish this with one, let's say, two hour long exposure, or you can break them up into many 30 second long exposures and merge them afterwards in software. One of the benefits of doing something like this is that it keeps the noise in the shots to a minimum. Some people also use interval timer to create their own time lapse movies when they want the most amount of control. Because you can shoot in RAW, you now have a huge amount of flexibility if you want to edit your photos before creating your time-lapse sequence using third-party software. And without being locked into the native movie resolutions of the camera, they can create creative time-lapse movies using the massive resolution of the still images. In the case of the Z5, 24 megapixels of resolution is now equivalent to 6K video. The Z5 is the first Nikon Z camera that allows you to shoot individual files with interval timer while also letting the camera create a time-lapse movie at the exact same time. So not only do you keep every image that you shoot, but the final movie is already made for you too. I hope you enjoyed this video on the Z5's powerful time-lapse and interval timer features. Go to our website for more details on the Z5 and subscribe to our channel for future updates. Thank you.